All right, it's hump day. I'm gonna go get my Wednesday wet. Hello, I'm Travis Betts. And I control Wednesdays. Before I introduce you to another underrated and unknown film, I have two things in which I'd like to unleash upon you. The first is another YouTube channel, which was brought to our attention through our comments section. Turns out, there's actually another channel on YouTube that has the exact same format as the Rough Cuts, only where we'll take off the weekend, uh, these guys go seven days a week. Uh, they're called The Real DVD Watchers, and you should check them out because uh, they give reviews on movies, television, DVDs, uh, they have a great cast of seven people, and honestly, you really can never cram enough movie information into your brains. Brains! Brains! brains. brains. A good many of you know that I'm a filmmaker and that I'm currently touring the festival circuit with my demon comedy love story, Lo. Uh, we have just been accepted into the Indianapolis International Film Festival, and uh, so we're going to be screening there in late July. So if you're from the Indiana area, or you love to travel, and you want to see my film, uh, these are the dates in which it will be screening. Boom. Boys have come to claim me treasure. Well, we'd like to see the gold first. Nathan, there's better than gold in here, me lad. No, no, just look here, no. Candy, refreshing soft drinks, popcorn, ice cream. Bad boy Bubby. The best way that I could describe this movie is if Hal Ashby's being there met Robert Zemeckis' Forrest Gump at an all-night rave and Ashby would have a whole bunch of drugs on him, uh, and so they would be doing acid and, and, and crack and wood glue all night long, and then Zemeckis, whacked out of his mind, would be like, hey Ashby, let's go back to my pad and fuck all night long. That would result in a son, and that son would be bad boy Bubby. <laughs> Written and directed by Australian filmmaker Rolf De Heer, Bad Boy Bubby is one of the darkest, most hilarious, most self-reflective movies about the human condition ever made. The story follows Bubby, a 35-year-old man who's grown up in a small shack with his mother. She has informed him that the air outside is poisonous and will kill him if he leaves the house. And so, for 35 years, he has never once left the rooms he grew up in. While the premise is nothing new, there's been heaps of films that have explored the human development in confined spaces idea. It's De Heer's execution and his philosophies, and Nicholas Hope's performance as Bubby that really sets this movie apart from all the rest. As Bubby wanders around his strange new world, the director uses 32 different cinematographers to create a unique look for every experience that Bubby goes through throughout the film. And it's this experimental attention to detail, I feel, that it really helps get under your skin and allows the movie to, to haunt you long after you've stopped watching it. Warning. The first 20 minutes of Bad Boy Bubby are brutal, disturbing, disgusting, and bleak. It's a horrifying setup to what does become a very emotional and hysterical movie about a man who is experiencing everything the world has to offer for the very first time, and what a programmed, narrow-minded lot of characters we have humans have become due to the repetition of our experiences for many, many years that have molded and shaped us. Yeah. That was a mouthful. To watch the trailer and learn a bit more, visit my website, here. That's all we have for this Wednesday. If you have seen Bad Boy Bubby, I encourage you to open up a dialogue down below and let's talk about it. If you haven't, please do. It's worth it. And I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, so for now, I'll leave you with yet another uh, film scene by the Zombie Socks. Uh, please see if you can guess what movie they're doing. The Zombie Socks.
Doctor, I'd like to kiss you goodbye. Alright, but you're so damn ugly.